Well, here we are in MCR 21 and we're going to have a look at the monitor stack and why it's arranged as it is. Here is one of the monitors that we use for our public display and the idea is that this monitor, being an LCD monitor, can run continuously uh, without using up the lifetime of our precious CRT monitors. Now to expand a little bit more on the business of CRTs versus LCDs, um, the reason why we're displaying publicly the LCDs is so that we can preserve the life of our precious CRT monitors. They are mounted behind and shortly we'll go round the back and have a look at those. In a more uh, adventurous or for a technical audience, we might remove the LCDs and bring the CRT monitors forward uh, to display how it really, really would have been back in the day. A further point, uh, looking at the monitor stack, there's one or two little holes here uh, with quite a bit of work in progress, so it's partially dissembled. But that does have the advantage that we can see a bit more of it. Now, we'll go and have a look at the back now. Well, here we are at the back, and uh, this is the back of one of the monitors. Uh, it sits there quite nicely, and this is in its uh, public uh, demonstration mode, where it's back. And if you look here, you can see that there's a gap, and in front of it is the LCD monitor. And it, the monitor presents the view that this would have been presented. But when people come round to look at the back, they see the monitor uh, in the correct position and wired up exactly as it would have been. Now then, we've changed camera position so that uh, we can get a better view. It's quite cramped back here uh, and makes filming a bit difficult. But uh, what I'd like to point out now is the rear of this LCD monitor, which is on the other side of the monitor stack. That's the DC in. Uh, conveniently, they run off 12 volts DC, which is uh, quite handy because, uh, to put it bluntly, we don't have to pat test them if they run off 12 volts DC. Uh, and next to it is the um, VGA cable bringing the picture in. And if we choose to use it, just there, there's a phono connector uh, for video. I'd also like to uh, explain the mounting arrangements for the monitors. The LCD bolts onto this arrangement here, but um, the CRT monitors uh, fit on these um, rails here, and there's a, a cunning slide arrangement whereby the feet of the monitor engages in there, and then this clip thing fixes it in position. And when we go into um, uh, engineering display mode, you might call it that, where we actually use the CRTs. Uh, this little plate uh, is moved from there to there and then the whole monitor can slide forward uh, to fill the uh, monitor stack hole, the clip. As you saw, we have all the monitors removed for um, uh, rewiring and uh, a bit of maintenance work. Uh, <coughs> But we're very fortunate now, we've acquired some more monitors of the CRT variety so we'll be able to complete the monitor display so from the rear it will look just as it should and if we go into the proper um, CRT display mode they can all be slid forward and it will look wonderful. Uh, so we're going to have a quick look at the computer that runs the display. Uh, here it is. Uh, the Pies that are term the Raspberry Pis in there. The um, software for that was designed by our volunteer Paul, uh, and the case was wired up by another one of our volunteers, Ginge. And at the back here uh, are the outputs that drive the under monitor displays, the VGA connections to the monitor, and right at the bottom, I'll turn that a bit so you can see it better. The um, XLR's output with the 12 volts on that runs the, the monitors mentioned previously. Uh, two sound outputs, one has production talkback, PTB, and the other one has program sound, uh, PS. Here's the, um, the unit, quite a modern item. Uh, it's really out of place in this truck. Uh, 